Ange Postacoglu will be out there tonight in his bedroom crying into his Big Mac because another Japanese player has signed for a Scottish Premiership club. But it's not his club. He didn't get his little Japanese sensation this time. Welcome back, guys, to sort of Scotland TV. And it is official. It is finally official. Hearts have signed the one and only... Yutura Oda, also known as the Japanese Mbappe. Now, I made a video on Yutaro Oda a couple weeks ago. Hearts basically had the deal done. However, they had to wait on some sort of visa, international clearance or whatever. So it wasn't official, but it was like a done deal, basically just waiting on paperwork. However, now that paperwork is done, the deal is official, and Yutora Oda is a Hearts player. He signs from Thistle Cobb. And this guy, there's a lot of hype about this guy. This guy is talked about in such high regards. Come on, when you are referred to, when people are labelling you as the Japanese Mbappe, you have to be good. You could be the fucking San Marino Mbappe. You, you would still need to be good. You can't have Mbappe in your name and not be good. So regardless of where you're from, if you're being labelled the whatever nationality you are, Mbappe, then you are a good player. And I think Japan have produced a lot of good players. I think Japan as a footballing nation are continuing to improve. They're always getting better. And I don't think signing Japanese players can be a bad thing. You know, you look at the J League, you look at the Asian market, it's cheap to get players from, um, you know, that that region of the world. So I think it's a good idea for Robbie Nielsen to continue, you know, trying to sign players from there, whether we're signing players for Japan or whether he's going down under and signing players from Australia. It seems to be a good place for Scottish clubs to go. And I think Yutura Oda will be a really good signing for Hearts. Now, the only thing I will call out here is the fact that he made 43 league appearances for Fizzle Cobb over the last three seasons. Now, he is only 21, so, and he's, well, he's a bit, he turned that, what, 21 about five months ago. So, let's give him the benefit of the doubt. I know he's young. I know he's having an early career. I know he's still well, well early into his career. I get that. But he's had 43 appearances. Now, I'm not sure how many of them he started, but due to his age, I would assume most of them have been sub-appearances, so I'm trying to give him the benefit of the doubt here. However, in 43 league appearances for Fizzle Cobb, he scored, and this is 43 league games, he scored two goals. Two goals in 43 appearances. If you work that out on average, I mean, he, he's scoring less than a goal every 21 games. You know, that doesn't sound Mbappe-like to me. It really doesn't. So, I don't know, is the Japanese Mbappe, you know, the right name, maybe he should be called, I don't know, the, the Japanese Andy Carroll, because that goal scoring record isn't great, but you know what, I've got a lot of faith in this guy, I cannot wait for him to join the club and get involved, well he's joined the club, I can't wait for him to play, I can't wait to see him in a heart shirt and take to the field, so yeah, I'm excited. Looks a good prospect. The goals haven't been great, but who knows? As, as long as he starts scoring them for us, that's all I care about. And like I said, Ange Postacoglu, he'll be raging, man. We know that he's got this big Asian fetish. We know that Ange loves to sign all the Asians, and he wants all the Asian boys for himself. Well, guess what? You're no getting this one, Ange. Go fuck yourself, you greedy Asian bastard. It's Yotora Oda. He's joining Hearts. He's no joining Celtic. Get it right up, you. Anyway, guys, that is it. Cannot wait to see this guy play. I might even get him on the back of my shirt. Screw it. I'm going to go and buy a shirt with Yotora Oda on the back. Maybe I'll do a giveaway as well with a Oda shirt. So... Yeah, I'm not sure what he goes by. Does he go by Oda on the back of his shirt? Sometimes the Japanese players use a first name. I'm not entirely sure. I'll find out what name he's using, and then I'm going to go and order myself a new heart shirt. But anyway, guys, that is it. I'll catch you in the next one. Glad to see he's making signings, and hopefully there's more to come in the January transfer market. But until next time, being Sir Scotland TV, thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. And yeah, I cannot wait to see our future Japanese Balan d'Or and World Cup winner, Yutaro Oda, in action. But until then, guys, peace.